Hello again, my friends. Hello, hello. And welcome back to our ongoing adventures of Terramander in the world of Melvoy. We got a couple of pretty exciting updates uh, since the last video, which was only like two or three days ago. Things are progressing at uh, a really exciting rate these days. We got 99 strength, the biggest of big muscles. Uh, hit that earlier today. And right around when I got it, uh, coincidentally, very happily, I got the strength pet too. So now we actually have uh, level 102 strength, which is pretty bananas. Um, not bananas like this monkey, but yeah, whatever. Um, that was a pretty good get. I think uh, my, my rate of getting pets is still just absolutely absurd. Uh, anything that I've been training, I've gotten the pet for. It's a little unfortunate that strength is so far ahead the other melee stats now. That's just because I was grinding with the Dragon Scimitar, and the Dragon Scimitar uses Slash so much better than Stab and Block. So I'll have to mix up the uh, the weapons going forward uh, to get these last melee levels. Um, right now, though, uh, since I've kind of finished my immediate melee goals, I went back to finish off Herblore. You can see we're very, 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 very close, um, and I have the mats to do it. Uh, before I was doing these Generous Harvest er, uh, potions, but we ran out of carrots. That's being capped, of course, by our farming rate. Um, we don't have the eyeballs for this, but no matter, because in the end, it's the pigtail herbs themselves that are going to get us there. This is actually not a bad rate, given how many pigtail herbs I've accumulated, because uh, the Generous Harvest potion requires two each of snake grass and carrot, and you can only grow one of them at a time. Whereas the entire time uh, I was growing pigtail herbs, outside of a bit of growing uh, barren toe herbs, but yeah, I was happy to realize this. I don't know why I hadn't considered doing this before. I was constantly calculating based on being capped by snake grass and carrots, but this is gonna get me there. Uh, we're gonna overshoot it quite a bit even. So that's quite exciting. This is the final uh, non-combat skill that we needed to 99th, so I'm, I'm quite delighted at that. I don't know if it's worth just like blathering on and looking around and waiting for us to uh, to hit it. I think instead we'll, we'll save that maybe for another video, maybe one that I'll shoot like later today, uh, and plunge into the next dungeon. Now that I have two uh, 99s in combat, I think that's another good milestone to see if we can now take on the Water God and, the, and get ourselves a scroll of Glacia. Should be pretty cool. So, um, again, I think we're just going to go pure melee. It would be certainly nice if we could, you know, do dungeon equipment swapping. What the heck? What? When did this get added? What the heck? Was this here? There Was there like a small update that I didn't notice? I, I never have noticed this item for sale before, <laughs> or this upgrade. Um, at any rate, this, this is cool. Uh, <laughs> we won't worry about that yet, though. Uh, what, what is the strength skill cape, by the way? Where is that? Does it not exist? Oh, here we go. Plus 10 melee strength bonus. Doesn't seem super worth. Um, okay. Sorry, I got distracted. I was, yeah, checking this out. I think we'll be okay just doing melee, though, especially since we now have our Ancient Claw back. That was what I was grinding out to get those last strength levels, was killing hundreds of thousands of unicorns now, probably like tens of thousands of unicorns, to get my Ancient Claw back. Let me, let me see, how many unicorns have I killed at this point to get basically three Ancient Claws worth of Ancient Claws? Because I, I mentioned that, right? That I actually had over a hundred extra fragments since I AFK'd this so hard. But that I, I sold them because I'm a genius and I didn't even consider that I would lose one. Uh, yeah, we've killed 16,000 now to get, I think, around 300 Ancient Claw fragments. So if you're curious about the drop rate, that's uh, about it. Okay, so let's get geared up for the dungeon. Um, we'll use our Ancient Claw. Very excited about that. We can... I guess I want to use the Fire Cape because it has some damage resistance on it. It would be nice to use this. 
because we can get more experience. But I'm doing this more just to do the content and get the, the drops and stuff. Not so much as a, a strength training exercise. We can get our Amulet of Torture, as long as we remember to take our shards. Last time I'm pretty sure we forgot some shards, which is disappointing, because we actually beat the dungeon and we still left some shards. So we could have had another chest perhaps, but meh. We got our gold dragon gear. These have been obsoleted by the gloves I have on now. The rest of the gold dragon gear we have. The ring slot, I don't really see anything much better than this. And that is quite a nice combat experience boost, like 7% is uh, pretty substantial. Uh, I think that's it. We can plunge into the dungeon. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> um, my, my plan, you'll see, is to zoom out. <laughs> this is the radical new technique I've come up with that will allow me to see the enemy's special skills and figure out when I need to eat. We've got a pretty decent stack of prayer points too, which is nice. Um, I think I buried all my bones, yeah. But we were getting magic bones, which is super sweet. I was just training prayer by using the cheapest combat prayer. Um, I, I know now that like the EXP you get from prayer scales proportionally to the number of prayer points you're using. So it's not the most effective way to grind, grind prayer, of course, but because I was at like prayer point parity with getting magic bones, this was like the way I could do it perpetually and I wouldn't run out of prayer. So I think it made sense. At any rate, we're, we're easily going to get 99 prayer. Uh, without kind of having going to, to go out of our way to do it, so I'm not super concerned anymore. Anyways, let's plunge in. See what we got going on here. Our food supplies are looking decent. Okay, so we can we can read all of this. We have 20% damage reduction because we're against magic, which is unfortunate. I'm going to eat just because I'm still figuring out what's going on here. Max hit 296, that's fine. An unavoidable attack that freezes you for two attack turns deals no damage, that's very annoying. That's what's happening here, but that's fine. Launches well, three avoidable ice spheres, 200 damage each, so even without damage reduction, that's not scary. Okay, this, this guy is a piece of cake, and we got a little thing. All right, that's another monster down, another item on the drop table. I'm feeling good. Uh, we don't have any prayers on, which I think is fine. I'm just going to save them for the last few floors. And then probably do Stone Skin Chivalry again. Or Stone Skin Piety, I think, is what makes most sense. Um, if we change these, it doesn't matter. So that's good. I guess we'll do Defense for now. It's a little closer to a level. Uh, but yeah, this all seems good. I, I feel quite confident in our ability to do this dungeon. Uh, whether or not we'll be able to AFK it with our current damage reduction uh, is another thing. Oh, it feels so good to triple swipe again. Haven't triple swiped in so long. Um, yeah, I don't really aspire to AFK the god dungeons for a little bit yet. Uh, even though I think I technically could do the air dungeon with the amount of uh, damage resistance I have now. Um, I think I would consume like so much food. And I need prayer to do it too, so I don't know if I'm ever going to have enough prayer points built up. So I'd rather just kind of work on gear first and get in a better position. Um, but yeah, outside of AFKing it, I think we can still complete it at least, which is still very exciting. First up, we're against these water guard guys that, I don't know, they seem to be in a pretty bad mood. Who can blame them? Mulling around on the first floor, everyone just regarding them as uh, a waste of time, as to be written off. Poor water guards. You look scary in your own right. You have combat level 172. It's crazy. I'm only at 123. I'll just do a bit of farming here. So yeah, it's nice that now that I have all of the resources for Herblore that I need, um, I guess we'll still do... Carrots and snake grass for now until I'm like absolutely 100% certain. Um, but once that's taken care of, once I've actually hit the 99 and I have no more cause for alarm, we can uh, go back to farming the good old way without any weird gloop, without any compost, and just planting stuff with the lowest mastery each time. 
that's so much more fun. That's so much more exciting than just planting the same things over and over again. So looking forward to that. Looking forward to the good old days of farming before I before Herblore was introduced and I had this whole new grind laid out before me. Because, um, yeah, the long-term goal of farming, and I'm quite curious to see how this like aligns with the progress of other goals, is to get complete mastery in it. And until I get that, there's no real point in, in stopping farming. Um, of course, you know, I'll be a little less adamant about it. Not that I'm, like, setting timers and checking every 60 minutes or whatever, but, like, it always felt, like, really good if I happen to sit down at my computer and it's like, oh, man, my, my farming just finished. Like, yo, that's sweet. That's optimal. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, I, I, I'll care even less. <laughs> It'll be even more of, like, an unnecessary nice bonus to time it well. I was talking to my friend Chris about this, too. Just, just the idea of, like, Little things in this game that make you feel lucky, but since it's like, oh, we're up against the next guy. Water monster. That's annoying, but fine. 325 damage. Damage is doubled if you're a frozen slash stunned. So that's a little alarming. Um, I would like to see... So that does 195. So 195 times 2 is still less than 400. So we're still safe. We're still AFKable, this guy. But yeah, it's like... You know, if I happen to sit down on my computer and my farming is just finished, it's like, ooh, lucky, I feel nice. But that's actually entirely within my control. Like, that's just something I chose to do. So it doesn't feel so much lucky as it feels kind of like reflective of some deep inner skill or harmoniousness with the world or something. Um, that that I, I have this, this very blessed, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Young used it to refer to uh, situations that seem like coincidences, but are actually, oh, you know, uh, synchronicity. It's a nice feeling of synchronicity, uh, that even though you can't really, you know, uh, rationally say it means anything, um, it feels nice, and I feel like this game has like lots of moments like that. On top of just pure RNG things where you go, ooh, I got lucky, I got a pet. Um, it's just like, ooh, I got, I got, I was skilled. I, I, I checked the farm right at the right time. Um, but yeah, my friend Chris is now kind of left with just Slayer as his only kind of major combat grind left. And we were talking about the idea of using a script that automatically starts your next task. Because right now you can have it automatically generate a new task when the previous one finished, but you'll just keep grinding against the previous task's monster. You won't switch over to killing the new thing. Um, which is annoying, and I totally get where he's coming from, that it's like, when that's your only grind left, and if you don't happen to switch it over and keep grinding new tasks, it's like pretty discouraging to come back and your account has really kind of made no progress besides getting a whole bunch of items that are irrelevant to you. Uh, once you've already maxed your other combat stats. So I don't know, it's an interesting question. Um, I, I said, you know, I don't plan on using any sort of external scripts in this game. Um, just that I kind of felt like I have to draw a line somewhere and I'll just be very uh, judicious and like puritarian almost and say, the game is the game. I'm not going to script anything. I'm not going to have any sort of externalities uh, playing it or impacting it. Um, but that I could understand that his circumstance was different than any other circumstance I've dealt with because no matter what uh, I was doing, I was still progressing in some useful way. I was still making meaningful progress. Uh, whereas, yeah, like if I was just killing purple goo monsters and I was already at 99 combat, eh, I feel pretty bad. So, I don't know. We'll see what I want to do when I get there, I guess. Uh, let me know if you'd be extremely morally opposed <laughs> to using any sort of script and if you would uh, unsubscribe immediately. Uh, for what it's worth, the script is apparently pinned in a message in the Melvor Idol Discord, so it's got that kind of uh, tacit approval. Um, and I remember way back in the day, before there was stuff like auto-eat, before there was the looting am amulet, by the way, I should loot, Good, good. Um, before there was anything like that, I saw a lot of scripts being posted, I think by official sources or being um, like supported by official sources that added that functionality to the game. 
uh, a script to make you eat, a script to make you loot, etc. And of course, as I said, I didn't really do any of those, but I, I didn't really even pay attention because I wasn't doing combat at the time. I was just doing a bunch of already AFKable skills. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of neat as the game evolves, kind of seeing uh, what areas they look at what the player wants and say, yeah, you're right, this is kind of unnecessarily tedious. We'll add a feature to the game like that. And other things where the, the tedium is the challenge. Like, I don't think anyone will ever condone an automatic farming script, right? Because that takes away all the fun of farming. <laughs> that takes away all that nice feeling of synchronicity and timing and being blessed by good farming cycles. Um, but on the other hand, uh, something like cooking, it used to be that you had to unlock the higher tiers of cooking. There was like cook one, and then once you got a certain mastery, it was cook five. So you got to a certain mastery, it was cook 50. And then when you got to a certain mastery, it was like cook all, I believe. Um, and, uh, you know, you Zoomers out there, <laughs> take it from me, that was pretty tedious. That was like some of the most un-AFKable stuff to, to properly grind cooking, because you'd want to keep going up to the higher EXP foods. Um, but they were like, okay, that's too tedious, so they took that out. And I think that's, you know, that's an, it's, it's just interesting. I, I don't really have any judgment on, on which of these changes I like and which ones I don't, but it's just sort of interesting. Okay, we're almost on this floor. I'm excited. Getting a lot of water shards. Very good, very good. Let's really make sure not to leave the dungeon before we loot everything this time. For better or worse, we're getting out of here with the maximum uh, water shards. Yeah, all right, what do we got next? A water golem. Flash freeze, unavoidable attack that stuns you and deals 650. If already stunned, deal 30% extra damage instead. So that's like another 210... What?! Huh? Oh, snap! While I was doing math, I died! Oh, man. Okay, well that could have been a lot worse. The dragon plate body, yeah, that's annoying, but like... Ooh, that could have been a lot worse. Ooh, that, that, ooh, that could have been so much worse. Oh, if I lost my Ancient Claw again. Uh, okay, all right. Well, <laughs> we died. <laughs> we died already. That sucks. But, you know, um, it's the way life goes. We are not at all close to getting another... Uh... Dang. Dang! Uh, okay. So, let's make another... Why did I sell all my Runite or Oh, my God. Okay. Step one. Mine some Runite or La, 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 la. We we'll get six of these, I guess. I guess so. Why did I sell all my runite ore? I think I was just trying to find inventory spots. Now we'll make some dragonite bars. <sighs> okay, so that attack is actually scary. Um, Six fifty. There's no way I'm going to damage reduce that to under 400, especially when it's boosted up to like 870-ish, probably, 865. Okay, we'll make a dragon plate body. Alright. Now, can we even upgrade it to silver? Nope. So we need more silver and more gold. We need way more gold. And a decent amount more silver. Oh, that's so annoying. I, I burned through a bunch of silver because I wanted to free up inventory spots, and I had all this black armor, some of which is, like, really annoying to find, like the black plate body especially. So I upgraded those, or some of those. Hmm, I thought I did more. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I wasted some bars doing that just for item completion. Oh, it's annoying. Uh... I guess we'll equip this. It doesn't have any damage reduction. No. So our damage reduction is pretty severely nerfed by that. I want to try again, though. God dang it, I want to try again. We're plunging back in. Ah. And then we're just going to eat. We're going to eat a lot. We're going to eat so much. Max hit 307. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. This guy's still AFKable. Did we did we even loot? 
Enough? I don't know. Mother... Hmm. No more dying. That was... That's gotta be the last death of the account. It's so frustrating. I, if I lose my Ancient Claw again... Oh my god. <laughs> Those poor unicorns is all I can say. Those poor, poor unicorns. I've, I've massacred them. Oh, I was getting cocky. I don't know. I was, like, reading it. I was doing the math. I thought... It's probably fine. I guess because I was so overcautious in the previous dungeon, and I was like eating way unnecessarily, and now I'm running out of food, and it took longer because I was always eating, blah, blah, blah. It's like, ah, you know, it's probably fine. Like, I'll probably find out later that this dungeon was fully AFKable just with what I had. Blah, 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 blah. I was, ah, got cocky, got cocky. Wasn't paying attention, and I died. Okay. But these guys are still fine. The next enemy is still fine. Right? I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next enemy is still fine, too. Then after that, we gotta really start eating. Really start watching some bars. Dang! Ah, dang. But, you know, progress march marches on anyways. A little more monsters. A little more items. Bit by bit, a little more experience. We're at 98% skills now. Super exciting. The farthest lagging is ranged. I gotta figure out what a good way to do ranged training is. Um, probably like the Wizard's Tower dungeon could be good, because there's a lot of stuff. I want to get all these. And uh, presumably on that spell drop table, I guess we can check. Presumably there is also runes. It's always good to get more runes. Yeah, lots and lots of runes. Up to when, yeah, yeah. So maybe all AFK. Grinding that dungeon, doing range training. Seems fine. Get ranged up there. All right, maybe that'll be the next wall. Right now it's like, I got, I don't know, finish off Herblore first, I guess. I don't know, I don't know. Actually, no, I gotta get my friggin' golden dragon plate body again. So much to do, so much to do, and I say that in a genuine spirit of uh, eagerness and positivity and fun. But man, I wish I hadn't died just now, that's so annoying. Okay. Grab these. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, our damage reduction before, I think, was 20. Um, so that means that against melee people, it should be... It used to be 40. Now it's... Uh, 34. It's still fine. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it's enough or not. Like, it should be enough as long as we eat. Because with eating, effectively, we're, we're safe as long as it can't do over a thousand damage. And I would I would be pretty shocked. I would be quite humbled if the final boss can do more than a thousand damage. Uh, and if it can, then we'll probably just run. <laughs> uh, we'll just click this little running man there ASAP. Um, so hopefully I can like math out whether or not it's over a thousand in time. Nothing we've seen is like base over a thousand. So, with uh, our, albeit nerfed, damage reduction, I think it's still enough. Hopefully, 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 we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh my gosh, I'm so spooked. I don't want to die again. Oh, I don't want to die again. Mm -hmm. Triple slash, please. I want to see triple slash. Alright, so let's... Maybe we'll even write them down. What are some immediate goals? 99 Herblore. Bunch of gold bars. I, I really can't have enough of them. Bunch of gold. And silver bars. Because I'm sure once I get the ancient armor, it'll be... Upgradable, and it'll be even more expensive to upgrade. Uh, more whales. Mm. And then what? Ranged. Yeah, 
range. Other. These are like the ones that I have to kind of go out of my way to do. And then other stuff will just kind of happen as I'm uh, doing content. This might be the ordering. I don't know. I don't know what order I want to do these in. It's like I still haven't exactly decided what uh, alt magic I'm curious about. I got myself a ton of nature runes. So I have uh, some options. But, uh, ooh. Is this good for making gold bars? Possibly. All right, well, that's something worth considering, too. Um, so it's like, I don't necessarily want to grind combat magic all that much. If I could end up wanting to do a bunch of alt magic just for its own sake, and then, of course, I would be getting experience, too. I'd, I'd like to make that experience useful. So magic I'm like less certain on. Whereas ranged, you know, eventually I'm just going to have to shoot a ton of arrows at somebody, and like, we can just do that, and we can just find somebody to shoot arrows at. Probably those wizards. Those friggin' nerds up in their tower enjoy getting pelted by ancient arrows. Alright. Yeah, these these guys are still fine, I think. Maybe the Yeah, maybe the ice break. If we get frozen and we get ice breaked, that would be too much damage. Because it goes up to 650 base. We only have 34 damage reduction. Yeah, I should probably look out for that. I should probably eat if that's going to happen. Because that could be one where before I had enough damage reduction with 40%, but that, uh... Yeah, because that did 215. Okay. So it did 215, and, uh, therefore, if it was doubled, it would do, you know, more than 215 for <laughs> 430. Uh, which is out of auto eat. That's beyond auto eat. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Math. Math. Math will save us. Triple swipe will save us. Yes. Screw you. I'm going to eat now. Why don't I ever think to do that? Eating between battles. There's no downside. Okay. This is going fine. Everything is fine. The uh, ice break under worst conditions is 430 damage, I believe. Yeah, 430 damage. So as long as we eat between 430, yeah, like right there, I could have died. So it's good we ate. It's good we ate. It's going well. It's going fine. <laughs> uh, you don't have to worry about eating here, because I'm not frozen. La 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 la. As long as it doesn't use that stupid ice breath or whatever. Icy chill. That's annoying. Everything else I'm fine with. Good. Let's eat. Another one. Sure, sure. You know, they call them water monsters, but they're really much more ice themed, right? They look like they're made out of ice too. Now, I know water is ice. I, I am familiar with this idea that water is ice that has been frozen. I mean, ice is water that has been frozen, but it's 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 like I don't know. You would never call ice water, would you? <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't know why I ate there. That was very unnecessary. I, I hate with such poor timing too. I almost had a full stun bar, and then I reset it. Eh, who cares? Who cares? That's fine. We still have plenty whales. Uh. That's spooky, but it's actually fine. Still spooky, still fine. I'm, I ate anyways, though, because I was a little too spooked. Come on, just hit. Yeah, triple slash. That'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll eat. Just because. So is the guy after this that killed us? Uh, or the guy on the next floor after two more of these? And we'll just... We'll eat under 650. We'll eat, like, really liberally. Hmm. Eat there. Just just in case. Just in case I, like, misunderstood, you know? But yeah, this is fine.
Huh, what a good game. <laughs> Just watching bars go up and down and numbers appear. It feels so nice. Should loot. Nice. We're getting to the point where even if we don't clear the dungeon, we can at least open one chest. I think if we just get a little farther than we did last time, that could be the case. Alright, almost on this floor. That was a nice hit. I see chill, very annoying. Hopefully you don't... Oh my god, ice break on top of icy chill. See, uh... Okay, I missed. That's what happened there. I see chill... Why does it say icy chill misses, but it actually hits? What's up with that? I think it pops up and says miss, but then I'm still stunned. I guess because it just does no damage, it says miss. Because it won't pop up and say zero, but it still pops up and says something. I don't know. That was a pathetic, pathetic triple slash, by the way. It was one of the worst triple slashes I've seen. Or triple swipe, I guess it's called. Ha 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 ha. Almost there. And then we gotta start really... Okay. Alright. Let's leave. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. Uh, we only have a 47% chance to hit. It's kind of tempting to start praying, but uh, I don't know. We gotta fight four of these? Oh, jeez. I don't think we can afford to pray. Spamming flash freeze. We're just stun locked. We're still stun locked. This guy is an asshole. We gotta eat again. Please stop flash freezing me. I don't like it. Come on, let's get a hit in. No! Let's get a hit in, please. Mm hmm. So I think the strat is um, when we get flash frozen, since we have to do two bars of stun, uh, that we should wait until the first bar finishes, like, is totally full, and then eat right at the start of the next bar, because then we lose the least amount of time. Wow, that triple slash was three misses. This is going so poorly! <laughs> Eat there, because I'm not sure what will happen. I forgot my own strat. But yeah, it'll just minimize the amount of time in stun, and we know that we can eat a whole thing before he can attack again. Or we can do a whole bar of stun before he can attack again, I mean. This is rough. I forgot my strat. It's <laughs> my strat is a little scary though. <laughs> I'll be honest. Triple swipe, come on. Meaty triple swipe. Okay, I'll take it. Two hits at least. Flash freeze here, I think, is safe, yeah. You don't need to eat. So he's not doing another flash freeze. It's just the back-to-back -back flash freeze is the one we have to worry about. Come on, 58. What type of monster is this? Oh, because it's magic. That's rough, yeah. Uh, we almost got him down to health at half health. Jeez, th these freeze attacks. They're so annoying. I wonder if there's like a magic, like some aura or something I can cast to prevent these sorts of debuffs. Or maybe some sort of equipment. Something like that. Some counterplay. This is this sucks. This guy's wrecking us. Like we he really is wrecking us. If it wasn't for the fact that we have like a whole kitchen full of fish, we would be super, super dead. So it's really not fair. Because he doesn't heal. He doesn't even know the concept. See, look at that. Double flash freeze. That's where he's coming to kill us. Come on, just land hits, please. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it does uh, uh, 540 damage, it looks like. The flash freeze after we've been flash freezed. No, it does 540 damage on its own, and then 30% on top of that. Oh, this is rough. 702. The combo one does 702. So that's that's where we gotta be real. 
cautious. Yeah, 702, okay. Good to know. But that's only if we're stunned. Come on, no more flash freezes. Uh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, I thought I could get away with eating there. Alright, another one. Let's get our shards. Let's eat. Oh my gosh. Could I have died there? Maybe. I could definitely die here. Yep, 702. That's a lot of damage. Okay, last, last golem we fought, I think I had, like, terrible RNG. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know what I should statistically expect, but um, I feel like we missed like a lot. We were just not getting good hits on him, even when we hit. <sighs> His max hit otherwise is what? Force? Oh my god. Okay, I, I, I really should be more scared. I think there's been a few situations just recently where I could have died. Yeah, flash freeze again. It's really mean that eating resets your stun bar too. Don't you think? Uh-huh. Oh, you're trying to combo kill me. I see you. 702 damage. That's rough. 702 again. At least it's always, if it doesn't kill me, it'll always make me auto-eat, you know? Uh, I guess that's true of, like, all such things. But it means I can finally, oh my god, please, please, this is too much is done. I want to fight too. I, I swear to god the final boss is going to use this as well, isn't he? Ah. Let me eat there. 66, that's our big hit on him. 66. He's just recreationally uh, pounding us for 106. And flash freezing again. But it missed! And that was a decent triple slash, I suppose. Trying to combo kill us. I see you. Oh my god, just come on. Just come on and die. Please. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna eat. Who cares? Just one whale. Flash freeze right off the bat. I love it. You'd love to see it. Back to back flash freeze right off the bat. Oh, well, I wouldn't feel right if it wasn't hard. It wouldn't feel right if uh, this was a walk in the park. We started off this guy way better though. We got a nice triple swipe in there. So I'm I'm feeling still pretty good. Honestly, I'm I'm not discouraged yet. We'll eat there, because that could kill us. We'll eat here because he's trying to combo kill us. That son of a bitch. Look at that. Triple. So many. <laughs> so many back to back. That's not fair. Uh huh. Gotta eat. Even though I canceled triple swipe. That sucks. Should eat. Yeah. Don't get to attack. That's nice. Okay. Triple swipe again. Comes out first. I love it. Oh man! <laughs> stop! Stop it! Stop it, please! I beg of you. Okay, okay, okay. We're safe. You know, auto eat here. Flash freeze. We'll eat. Should have timed it better, but you know, I'm under I'm under pressure. I think we got to eat here. This max hit is something gross in the 400s. Mediocre triple slash, to say the least. Come on now. Yeah, before you can squeak out another flash freeze. Thank you. How? I... Oh, man. I didn't even get the shards from that last one. Oh, this is getting pathetic. 
The ancient arrows were not that big a loss, though, because we, we have most of our ancient arrows in the bank. All right, clearly this is not going to work out. <sighs> clearly we got to, once again, stop trying to be God. Shout out to Travis Scott. I think we'll work on these first. 99 herb lore. That's nice and safe. Yes, yes. Brew my potions. No more suffering. Oh, that's so bad. I could have lost my ancient claw. That's so bad. Oh, poor little baby. If I lost this, that would be annoying too. Because this is really nice. 8 damage reduction. Oh, man. Alright. Well, what shall we do? Let's let's end this video on a high note. And uh, just get 99 Herblore. Let's get it on video right now. Why not? Let's see. So we killed one. That's nice. Because... Uh, you know, it's on the board now. We have still a winning win rate against it. We killed three, but it only killed us twice. Uh, Ares, we're one and one. <laughs> um, doing pretty good against these guys, you know, the sub-bosses. Got a positive win rate on most of these guys. What about uh, Big Dragon? We're, we're two and two. Okay, I'll take it. But yeah, I gotta be more careful. I, I'm so... I get so confident, I get so cocky. It's like, of course I'll pay attention. What was I doing that time? I think I was scrolling down to loot. It would have been nice if I looted. Get a little closer to this next chest, but eh, that's uh, that's how she goes. Hmm. Where are my shards? So I, I have about the same. We could try to do the air temple again and get some more. It's so opening the air chest is pretty hype. But, uh, you know, let's step away from combat a little. These dungeons are, are killing me, literally. Um, and yeah, we'll just kind of get this stuff ready. I do want to make another video at some point, uh, like that video I made way back quite a while ago, um, of uh, getting, getting items. Just trying to get as many items as I could in as short of time as possible. So what I'll need to prepare for that are uh, just like a ton of ores of all types, a ton of gold bars and silver bars. Don't really need to prepare bars of other things because you don't need that many for any of the equipment. Um, I'll have to make a ton of runes, get a ton of uh, battle staffs because that's like the last one that you can get from drops as far as I can tell. Um, just a bunch of uh, runes in general, I guess, because these all cost runes. I already have a bunch of nature runes. Actually, I think I probably have enough to just grind out all of these. But I think that would be fun, right? I had a lot of fun making the previous one. Um, potions. Can, like make sure we got all these. I think we do. I think we've done that. I don't know. Could be fun. Oh, and the combination runes. Got to make some of each of these. Get those for the item table. Uh, we can do some barbarian fishing because I haven't done that yet. I don't even know how it works. Um, but that would be pretty sweet. Shore up some holes in the item table. Yeah, lots to do. Lots of fun to be had. Um, we're so close now. Look at this. We're so close. Oh, I'm so happy. This has been such a long grind. When did they introduce Herblore? Like around the start of this year? Oh, I don't remember. But you could find the video where I, I explore the Herblore update. And probably in that video I say some very naive things about like, well, you know, we've maxed out all the other uh, non-combat skills, so I guess I'll do this next. Nope. <laughs> million other things had to happen in between, just because of the reliance on farming, which cannot be sped up. Um, but we're finally here. We're finally just... Uh, Oh, 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 what am I doing? Let's get uh, this guy back on. And is there something else? Yeah, this, 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 this. Ooh, geez, I was wasting valuable experience there. Imagine that was like the make or break. But no, we'll be fine. This will just make it take a shorter period. <sighs> yeah, it'd be nice to shore up these item tables. Like having these random question marks is annoying. Um, 
so that'll be a future video. I think that'll be fun. And yeah, these we just need a ton of gold and silver bars. Not a problem. These, uh, I'm not sure what they are. Oh, they're the other black beehive gear. So we'll get some black beehive um, prepped. It's fine. I think these are just weird drops that we haven't gotten yet. But I, I'm like aware of those. I don't think I'll do those on video because they're all like rare drops and uh, kind of annoying to grind that out on a video. I don't know what is going on here at all. Huge run of items that we don't have. Maybe this is the ancient gear because we don't have any of the ancient armors and stuff yet. We just have ancient arrows, which are somewhere else. These are probably amulets we don't have. Um, don't know what these are. Maybe other... Oh, Mystic Air Staff. I guess Mystic Air Staff has been in the game for quite a while. Maybe it's a drop from the Wizard's Chest. Okay, that would be cool. Then I should really, yeah, I should really prioritize grinding the Wizard's Chest. This is presumably some other color of magic gear that we just never got for some reason. Maybe these guys too. Don't know what these are. Oh, these are probably just skill capes we haven't bought. But, you know, that's just a matter of money. This is like one pair of gloves I didn't make for some reason. I don't know what these are. Oh, the other Slayer gear. Okay. So that's a matter of just getting enough Slayer points. Oh, we're so close. That's it. Oh, good timing. Wow, I'm glad I, I switched back to see it see it pop up. Fantastic. Okay. That's one done off the list. Done. Good. 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 Let's try superheating some bars. Because um, we can do that. Let's make uh, gold bars. We got a bunch of gold ore still. Yeah! Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like this. We're gonna run out of these before we run out of gold ore, of course. We're gonna run out of them very fast, but uh, still, yeah, this is a great way to do it while we can. We're gonna need a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. So. It's good to find out methods like that. Okay, I think that's about it for this video. A little disappointing that we couldn't clear that dungeon, but oh man, I'm feeling good about this. 99 herb lore at long, 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 long last. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. But then they stuck alt magic in here just to annoy me, just to make me sad. Um, I think I'm supposed to use, yeah, now we switch back to this ring for alt magic. All right, okay. We are on our way. Um, this is kind of the to-do list. None of this is like really, well, like these are. I'll make videos about these, but we'll try to get this done before we check in next. And then maybe at some point we'll go back to that accursed water temple. All right. Bye-bye.